Oh, we are actually live. What's oh, up? what up, everybody? We got it! <laughs> Guys, this is an absolute first for this now is probably being alive. Yes! So first finally. Thing. So I do have to say, we did say that the other day. I think who's it that called it out? I was like, this is the first time Maddie will be in a live, and they're like, no, she's been in a live before. Who said that? Was that you or Rye Guy? No. It wasn't me. I it think it was Brexton, and we had her via iPad on a yeah. FaceTime. That's the closest it's ever been, you guys. Mm -hmm. But we have Maddie in the flesh, in person, right here live <laughs> in our living room. This is incredible. So, oh what? I'm hyped right now. I wish you guys could have seen her right before we started some of the mouth exercises we were doing. Do it. Hot pepper, hot pepper. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's one. Watermelon jelly. Watermelon <laughs> jelly? Uh, okay. Well, now you've seen it. So here we go. Uh, but you guys, hi. Getting a lot of hellos, a lot of hey's, a lot of people hi. coming in to say hi to Maddie. Guys, this is very, very exciting for us. Maddie hanging out in the afternoon with us today. I'm kind of in a weird spot, guys. I got to keep panning to get everybody in here. <laughs> But we did want to do, because we've got Maddie here, and I said this in the description, but I think this is going to be the first of probably many YouTube lives that we have with Maddie. I would say so. As she's going to be out here more and For more me. now. Uh, but we wanted to do like a fun college Q&A. If you guys haven't seen it yet, Maddie moved into her dorm at BYU. She's going to be living here in Provo, Utah. Pretty huge, pretty big deal. Um, and so there's probably like a lot of questions. I feel like we get a lot of questions on Instagram and in comments and um, DMs and stuff. And so we thought, why not just answer them all right now? from the source herself, Maddie Bingham. So here I am. And a little bit of help from her brothers over here. Woo. So would it be easier, do you think, if I did this, if I like came over I here? I think you need to be on one end, yeah. Like this, does that help? Oh, look at you guys, yes! That makes wow, sense. guys, this is our first time. Hi, so this is how we Bingham, we're live. <laughs> okay, so hi from Tennessee, what up, how you guys doing? I'm gonna say hi to some people here. Uh, let's see, hi from Cali. Hi from Cali, that's your home. Hey. Woo -woo. Um, let's see, let's jump into this quick super chat before we get into a little bit of Q&A here. Can Maddie buy a couple Starbucks drinks to get her moving after a late night of studying? So this is from Brittany, she's dropping you some super cash, so thank hey. you so much for that, nice. that is incredible. And then let's see, oh hello from Australia, Gamer Mel, game on Gamer. Hello from the other side of the pond. Oh my gosh, that's not the right saying. Oh, other side of the pond is English. Okay, oh, so God, every time. you are amazing. Say hi to Maddie from Lisa. Hello. Hi, Lisa. So guys, let's get some questions going in here. Drop some questions into the comments right now. Questions you might have for Maddie, for college, or for any of us. It really could be for anybody, how we are handling, dealing with Maddie coming out here. Oh, I mean, we've kind tough. of been dreading this day for years and years, but it's here. I mean, 18 years in the making, and now we don't know what to do with her. If you guys want to know how Brennan actually feels about don't, it, just go don't. ahead and watch the video where he cries like a baby. That's the one where we read her college acceptance, acceptance letter, letter and I, I threw some snippets of that into her moving in and I gotta say, <laughs> watching it out of context of like being in the moment in that day where we actually were reading the letter is very embarrassing to, <laughs> to cry that hard. Yeah, that was pretty embarrassing. Um, it's fantastic. But yeah, anyways, Sweet. so let's see. Oh, hi from the UK. So we got some highs from the UK. Let's see, what is your major? I knew a lot of you were gonna ask that one. That is the first one. We're getting a lot of those in here. So Maddie, Hit him with it. This is big time, guys. She's been weighing in on this, Drum just thinking roll. about it. Spent a few years planning it. So, okay. so currently I'm undeclared in my major. Oh! Oh! Undeclared. I know, I know. I don't know what I want to do yet, so I'm hoping to figure it out. I'm taking a class that's called Career Explosion, so hopefully that will help me oh, figure it out too. Oh, genius. Yes, I love that. Yeah. yeah. So is that like like basically you get your little like your hand in a little of everything and you see what kind of yeah, clicks? Yeah, I'm awesome. thinking so. That's awesome. That, that is awesome. That's awesome. Um, okay, so if you didn't hear through our screaming, undeclared at the moment, kind of exploring some other yeah. some other options and stuff like that. So I think that is probably the way to go. I know when I started, it's kind of funny. I don't know how many of you have been through college or been through that experience. I started off as a computer science major. Really? That lasted a few minutes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Did you hear this guy? <laughs> oh my gosh, crew. I was Are a computer you a science clown? major. No, I was for like a minute. The and science. then mom, meteorology oh, yeah. major. Okay. Until she realized they have to do math. So that one was out the window. <laughs> and then I'm not very smart. I went through that. I did so many strange majors. I think at one point I wanted to be um, it wasn't pre-law, but it had some emphasis in like politics. Really? I'm telling you, all over the map, you guys. So I think it's smart, get your feet wet, try some of your generals out, yeah. do a career exploration and see where your passion lies. Because yeah. ultimately I ended up being in communication and journalism, which is what I did as a background for my job. Yeah. Um, and then it led to this, which has a lot to do with communication <laughs> and making your kids myself. laugh. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> okay, hang on, I gotta scroll back up. We saw a lot of good questions come in here, so let's see. Um, do you know Camry from Q Girls Hairstyles? She's going to BYU as well. I don't think you do. Is that Brooklyn and Bailey's sister? Yeah, she's so okay. cute. Oh. So yes, we do know the McKnights, um, but I, Maddie has not met her, so maybe they can meet up while they're out yeah, there. That'd be kind of fun. Sure. Uh, here's a great one, because I'm curious to know. Are you nervous about college? 
Yes. Yes. I'm very nervous. Okay. I mean, it's just a big change and like new classes, harder classes, a bunch of new people. Yeah. And like leaving my home behind. But I'm also really excited. So I honestly think that's like probably the perfect summation of how I would be feeling because it's not just like starting college, which is harder level courses than you've yeah. done. Um, trying to find like a career path and a major, but you're literally like uprooting from California where yeah. you've called home your entire life, coming to Utah, trading the ocean for the mountains, making new friends, yeah. don't know very many people and you've got family here and a few friends from, yeah. from California. Um, but other than that, really just like a fresh start. So yeah. that's super crazy. And I would understandably be nervous yeah. for all of that for sure. But she's got a lot of love and support around here in Utah, you guys. Oh yeah, and I'm so glad for that. Yes. Uh, so if you're wondering, Minnie's disappeared. I think we're trying to get Brexit and Hazy to come show up, but they've been playing so well today. I hate to I interrupt it. Like they have been screen free, just like doing painting. They've been doing- uh, Not normal, I'll tell you. Yeah, that. just like they've been really good today, which is also not normal. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> Okay, this is a funny one from Dalton saying, should Dalton get pink and blue braces or yellow and blue? Ooh, pink and blue. I mean, yeah, if you ask our family. You're gonna say cotton and candy. That's like yeah. a standard. I mean, I, I can see a reason for the other, but with us, it's gonna be pink and blue every time. Um, let's see. That's a really weird one. Let's see. Uh, if you didn't get accepted to BYU, what college would have been your backup college? That's a great question. That is a great question. I Honestly, I don't know because I just knew I wanted to go to BYU. And I applied to a lot of other schools, like in California. How many did you apply to? Because I remember you applied to a lot just to be safe, like a handful at least, right? Do you yeah, remember like, what, like five, seven? four, seven, seven colleges. So, I honestly don't know. But wasn't the, it was the first or the second one you heard back from was BYU? I thought this was the second one, wasn't it? Yeah, second or third. So to find out that like the dream college that she wanted to get... Uh, the entire time, not that all eggs were in one basket because you were smart, you prepared, you applied to multiple yeah. colleges, but really it was like the one. If it wasn't that one, it would have been yeah, it was like, a little devastating. Like know. plan B would have been <laughs> in like a distant plan B. Yeah. Uh, but to get that one, and I don't want to embarrass you live, but too late, and to get it on scholarship, <laughs> like that's absolutely incredible. To have yeah. your, your schooling paid for because of the whole hard work that you did and all of your AP classes and getting the grades that you did, that is like you're next awesome. level amazing. So yeah, you're pretty Thank much you. a rock star. Not totally sure we're related. Um, let's see, so <laughs> what do you wanna do after college? These are tough questions to ask her on the spot. Do you have any idea what you wanna do after college? Um, cause you're never getting married cause I won't let you date. So what are you gonna do exactly. after college? Exactly, <laughs> so no, I, I don't know. It depends like what I wanna do with my career. And yeah, stuff. I think a lot of that you'll probably figure out as you're going through yeah, college, exactly. you know what I mean? So, I'm gonna be a fast, <clears throat> good person. So a few people jumping in here asking about major again. So we decided undeclared on that one. Somebody wants to know how old you are. I'm still 17. 17? I'll be 18 in September. Yep, yep, coming up in September, you guys, so coming up very soon. Uh, Maddie, I'm gonna read these super chats while you answer the question, do you play any sports? No. No sports? <laughs> Definitely not. What would be the closest thing to a sport for Maddie, would you guys say? Like Olympic sleeping in? Yep. Like a <laughs> pretty good no, I would say like study decathlons. It's Olympic that. canoeing. Binging Netflix shows. Binging Netflix, yes. <laughs> oh, what's that game you like to play? <clears throat> Gardenscapes. Wait, really? That's a th okay. She said quarantine turned her into a gamer. Well, it was Flappy Golf, but my new thing is Gardenscapes. <laughs> oh, Flappy yeah, Golf and, and Gardenscapes. So guys, drop a like or a comment if you have heard of or played I've either of those games. Of I don't even know them, but I have a feeling we're out of the loop. I bet you a ton of people have heard of and played that one. Uh, so let's see, we got Karina dropping in saying, happy Sunday. This is for Maddie to use for college. Love you so much, Maddie, Karina. Thank you, dropping Karina. in saying hello. Do you know what, last time Karina, we were supposed to say hi to Eve, was it Eve, and we never did. Hazy came in. We never did. Oh, literally she came in around the corner, but she's still not here. And she's still not here. So she we'll comes try back and, and I her. forget. Well, all of you please remind me that Hazy needs to say You guys say hi to Eve. But the, the, what happened was, I just told everybody when you left, they're playing so well. Like we hate to break it up. Because oh sometimes it's like you guys go behind the they camera and fight, so but they're just cute. playing so good right now. They have done that the whole day. No it's been a good day. Just toys and playing make believe. And see, guys, I didn't lie because mom backed me up. Uh, okay, so Lauren's dropping in saying, Ryler, happy belated birthday, dude. This is for you. Sorry for late, no card, but that's for you, bro. You Sorry, say thank Maddie. you? Thank you. <laughs> you said thank you, but I talked over you. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, uh, so let's see. And then we have Katie coming in saying, congrats, Maddie, some cash for college. Holy cow, Maddie. Thank you. You're getting some serious help and love for college here. You guys Much are incredible. Wow, I told you coming on the live would be fun. Like, I told you. Yeah, I should come on more often. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is from Raul saying, hi, Maddie. Uh, I'm going to be a freshman going into the first year of university college. Transferred. I'm wondering how you're settling into BYU. So you've only been here a few days. How is it going? Like the whole getting yeah. in process? Well, and I haven't been on campus much because I've been hanging out with you guys and some yeah. of my other Sorry family up here. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> and my roommate doesn't move in for a few more days, so I thought that sounded kind of lonely to be there by myself. Yeah. But, oh yeah. Um, 
but everyone's really nice there so i think it's gonna be good and easy to like meet new people and blend in so. honestly like i was shocked when we went to move her in how many oh, times people just so stopped crazy. introduced themselves yeah. asked what her name was where are you from was so excited what floor are you on oh we should hang out yeah and i was like wow is going to be no problem making friends here very social yeah, the dorm super life fun. like yeah. a total social environment and everybody's like new you know it's like mostly right. freshmen yeah. in there right and mm -hmm. so they're all going through this together at the same time right. and so they all want a good friend um okay so that was a great question uh this is from jocelyn saying love you guys college is such a great experience graduated in may congratulations Woo! starting your master's in public health tomorrow good luck that is going to be awesome Whoa. uh let's see lauren browning saying can i uh say good night from Ryder crew maddie Maybe where they're living, it's nighttime. But I'm saying, like, I think it means saying good night. Uh, living in Utah, most excited, I guess. Do you guys say maybe say good night? Or maybe it's a hi. I don't know. I think you accidentally typed that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> good morning and good night. But what up? Good morning. Hello. And we love you, Lauren. <laughs> um, okay. Any other? So I was uh, wondering, because I don't know that anybody has asked this, but the questions have been kind of flying through here. Uh, when do you exactly start school? Like, when is the first day of school? Yeah, that's a great question. August 31st. Oh, August 31st. So does anybody know what today is? It's the 28th? 23rd. 23rd. So, so we have... it starts on a Tuesday. <laughs> so it's August though, right? Are we August right now? <laughs> yeah, I think it does start on Tuesday. Summer's oh, been weird, you guys. Yeah. Summer has been weird. Uh, oh, it is on a Monday. Monday, August 31st. Oh. Okay, so here's a good one. I just had one. Most useful college purchase so far. You guys did like a nice little Target haul stocked up the dorm room. Now you haven't been able to put anything into practical application in college to be able to say like, yeah. man, I really needed that shower caddy. Holy cow, I had no idea. But like what? Shower shoes. I just love calling something a shower caddy, it's weird. But uh, <laughs> what do you think? Like anything like you could say like that your dorm like couldn't live without at this point? I mean. That's like an interesting question. It's pretty small. So I got like some extra storage bins to go under my bed. Yeah. Yes, that because was smart. as you guys maybe saw, I have a sweatshirt problem. <laughs> I don't know so how much we highlighted of that, <laughs> but like the reason her roommate hasn't moved in yet is because there are sweatshirts taking up her side of the room. So we need to get those out and then the roommate I, can I move in. Too big <laughs> there are a lot of sweatshirts. Too. Yes. Okay. So that's a really good one. And yeah, so also I thought that was kind of brilliant, uh, that the dorm rooms have those higher set beds oh, it's awesome. so that you can store things under there. Yeah. So that was really good. Uh, right guy, getting some questions here. Are you asleep right now? Just kidding. Nobody asked that. How are you liking the cell phone? How are you liking the cell phone? I got to get you involved. Well, you know, I'm oh. loving it. I got, <laughs> got a pop socket. So it's just, it oh yeah, there you go. Look at that. I got this pop socket. Whoa, Spins. that's cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. He's loving it. He's loving it, guys. He's been able to text and communicate with his friends, oh, make his God. brother jealous. It's been fantastic. It's been <laughs> really right. Hey, Gru, you want it? You uh, go get it. We, but someday, someday. Yeah. In fact, that's the exact one you're going to get someday. If you get in trouble and get it taken away, I'm going to give it to him and he can By hang out with all your two friends. years, guys. <laughs> two years, someday. you get right, guys, this exact phone. We're going to hang on to it for you. Uh, so I also saw a question popping through there. Has Hazy started school yet? That is a fantastic question starts tomorrow. tomorrow you guys Aww. first day of kindergarten and first day that all of these kids minus maddie because she's going to be going to a big college but all of these little kids are going to be going to the same school at the same time yes. for the first time in the history of their lives so yeah. it's a very big day tomorrow it's very big deal be really that's fun. Exciting. yeah it's very very fun so make sure you guys don't miss that vlog uh that's happening tomorrow so that vlog will come out on tuesday uh let's see do you like your roommate i don't think she's watching i don't know that she knows that you go live on youtube yet so she may not see this so you can tell the truth you like your roommate so i haven't met her yet in person i've just been texting with her and she seems really cool we have a lot in common so i think it's oh, gonna be good awesome and i knew you hadn't met her but I, that's cool to hear that you guys have a lot yeah. in common that's yeah, really awesome. cool that's really, really cool. Um, let's see. So somebody wants a shout out from Crew, but your name is 100 Subs with some videos. So say, what up, 100 Subs? What up, 100 Subs? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Let me get into these super chats here. I don't want them to disappear, you guys. Uh, happy almost birthday, Maddie. We got Thank a September you. 18th birthday in the house from Kellen. Am I saying that right? Kellen? Kelly? Mm, Kelly happy almost birthday to you. Yes. Uh, some, f some money for Crewby as a late birthday gift from Alan. Oh, Wow. Yes. That was nice. Yes. Get some. You guys are awesome. Uh, and Chase Hall dropping in hot. Thank you, Jace. We really appreciate that. Uh, let me go back and see this one. Maddie, are you something sharing a dorm? Yes. Yeah. yeah. There's two people in there. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually, I thought, I felt like it was pretty spacious. It was actually yeah. really nice. I had never been in a dorm before and I was like, this is a pretty sweet setup. Yeah. yeah. Like, honestly, I mean, it's, it's, it's classic <laughs> dorm, like the cinder block wall type thing. But like, I thought Maddie and her mom and grandma and Minnie did a great job making her own. It has a great personality. Um, go back and watch that video if you guys haven't seen it because we did kind of do like a small reveal of the finished product, but we weren't all the way done. So we are planning on doing a full blown dorm room tour with Maddie at some point very soon, maybe before school starts. So it doesn't interrupt with the studies and stuff like that. But yeah. yeah. And I don't know how much roommate wants to be in that. So maybe before she gets out here too. <laughs> uh, let's see. So let me see. I got to drop this one really quick. 
for Mindy, who is awesome mom, and go Lulu. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, oh. now I don't know if the go Lulu was related to this, but if you didn't see on oh gosh, please don't make it Mindy's problem. best, but it's cool to me, Mom got up early before Brexton and soccer. Oh wait, this is the vlog that comes out tomorrow, so I'm kind of spoiling it, you guys. But she ran a really fun, like a Lulu virtual 10K. Yeah, it was a Lulu Made the decision seaweed. like 1030 at night. What'd you call it, seaweed? It was called seaweeds. Oh, the seaweed. I actually wasn't gonna seaweeds. do it because I ran two days in a row and I have not been running very much. And I was like, well, I'll just do it later. Well, the opportunity would have been gone, so I just decided to wake up the next morning and run it. Yeah. And it was awesome. Good it's pretty cool. Cause you get like a digital medal and then they send you like a real medal. So anyways, thank you guys for that. That's mom, the rock star, always inspiring. Uh, this is for Maddie, a senior at the University of Kentucky. And some advice that I would give Maddie is to write out your assignment <laughs> in a planner. Yes, that is great That's advice. old school, but good I advice. I love planner. writing stuff down. I don't actually. I well, we should go shopping. Looks tonight. like we're going to get some planners. Thank you for that advice. And I, I agree because like there are some things we're in like this full digital age and I know that I'm older, but every time I would try and transition yeah. into like just keeping notes on a computer or an iPad or something like that, there's nothing that really quite beats mm. physically writing it. I think that your, your mind connects to you writing it down and you think you remember it better. That is great advice. Yeah. Yeah. Any other college advice, guys? I want to get some yeah, college honestly. advice tips for any of you who have been through college recently, heading into college, what's working for you. Um, let me read the super chat that's popping in real quick. Sorry, Rick, I don't want to hit the close button. Okay, here we go. Sorry. That guy's bouncing me all over the couch. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> says, you guys are amazing. I love you guys. My brother starts college as well and can't wait. That's from Dylan. Thank you, Dylan. And good luck to your brother. Yeah. Um, let's see, I'm gonna read some of these comments that are coming through here, they're just coming so fast. Teacher asked for a favorite quote, and I said, do your best because your best is enough. Okay, oh okay, gosh. that you wins the day, amazing. that was cool. Good one. That just is awesome. We'll have some cool shirts and hats and stuff in Yeah, time. yeah, mom's thinking of getting some awesome stuff for uh, Mindy's best. In the works, and it's all along those, it. do your best, and your best is enough, very cool stuff, very cool stuff. Keep an eye out for that. Uh, okay, <laughs> shout out to Jake. What up, Jake? Hey, Jake. What up, Jake? Uh, I went to college for nine years, three degrees. What the heck? Hang on, I don't want to lose that one. Guys, this is very hard to do on a phone because well, every time, left -hand. I think it's hard too. Every time I touch it, it almost closes the live. Okay, I went to college for nine years, three degrees. Remember to have fun. Amy, that is phenomenal, yes. phenomenal wow. advice because I can tell you, you can get caught up in the, in the grades, the studies, maintaining your scholarship, maintaining like a solid 4.0, but don't forget that college is an amazing, fun time in life. Have some fun. Yeah, but I don't have fantastic. too much fun because then you'll learn that you don't get F's in college, you get E's. And yeah. I know that. Mindy knows from experience that they don't do F's, they do E's. I what know. does that even stand for? Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you guys both said that at the same time. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry, you're right, son. Okay, so <laughs> this one coming in from Helena's Life, saying for the whole family, you guys are amazing, love your videos, love from England. Thank you so much you're for that. You're so awesome, thank you. Uh, let me see some more good advice coming here. Freshman at Three Rivers College in Missouri, this is from Alex, and we talk with our teachers about how they want an assignment done, and if it doesn't list how they want it done, then they get some clarification, I think is what that's saying. Guys, I'm really worried, I keep touching buttons that I don't mean to press, and I don't want this to end on accident. Um, does Maddie drive? I do drive. Me crazy. <laughs> I just wanted you to, okay. But you, she does drive, right? Yeah. She doesn't have her own car that she brought out here. She's gonna have her own car here on campus. She'll be able to drive uh, here to the house for Sunday dinners. You can't drive around campus dinners. much though, right? Because No, but I can park on campus. Yes, and then you just will walk to your classes. Then you walk to classes mostly, right? Right, Like yeah. it's all within walking distance. It's not spread out enough that you no, have you to drive. drive. And they do have like campus yeah. shuttles and stuff like that yeah. that you would take from like a class that's maybe far away. Just make sure away. you walk past cream cream every day to get yeah. ice cream. Well, of course. So if, if you guys, if anybody's local and you're familiar with the BYU Creamery, that is like a place that makes ice cream. Now, most of you know, we're not avid BYU fans. We are Maddie fans, but we're not <laughs> BYU fans. But if there is anything that I am a huge fan of that comes out of BYU, aside from Maddie once she graduates, uh, is going to be the BYU Creamery ice cream. And they have so an ice cream called Graham Canyon ice oh cream that gosh. is to die for. And when we were at Maddie's dorm, they had it in a vending machine in her dorm. And I'm like, Maddie, you're gonna I get, will be there You're very gonna be getting often. some serious ice cream. I will visit you anytime you want. Uh, anything you need, I will come and help you as long as I can grab some Grim King ice cream. So. Yeah, it is, it is so good. I ate it so much when I was pregnant with like Ryler or crew. So much so that my doctor is like, you probably need to watch what you eat this next month because you gained too much weight this visit. So it is that good. Yeah, yeah, it is very good. I saw a great one in here and I think there's nobody more qualified to answer this than Maddie. We've got someone here, Ollie, going into high school for the first time. Any high school entrance advice from someone who has oh, successfully man. exited high school with honors, do you have any advice for high school? Uh, it doesn't have to be profound, just like, you know, know, anything off the top of your head that maybe you... I mean, for me, 
I you have to like put in the work to get to the results that you want. Love I it. found out. Love it. Great. I mean, I don't know. This is I, this is a big question. No, but honestly, I feel like I have to think about it more. As as simple as that may seem, I, I think that that's really the answer to a lot of things in life. Is just you're going to get out of it what you put into it. And yeah. I think that with her high school, we saw many times. Uh, and I was really grateful that these guys could see it as an example where she would have to pass on something that was maybe more yeah. fun because the result she wanted required a little more work. And so she focused on the yeah. things that she needed to, got the work done, and came out very successful from her high school career. And it's also as a important to have fun and make memories. And I think you did a great share of that too. Had some yeah. great friends, you know, went to concerts when those were a thing, got to do all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah, and, they were. and like Mindy says, just do your best. Because oh your, your best is enough. <laughs> and that's all the time we have, guys. <laughs> we'll no. see you next time. Uh, let's see. Uh, are you going to bring the Bingham visors back? I don't know that we are. Is that one that we're not? That's like a, that's a maybe. That would be like next summer. Yeah, it'd be like a next summer thing. But we do have but some stuff coming have, up. Should we tease? Oh, wait. Do you want to? I mean, you can. Well, I don't know what you're about to tease. I'm a little bit nervous. You're going to tease too far out. What are you teasing? Uh, well, we're going to bring back sweatshirts. Those are coming. Wait, what? I never knew. But they're gonna what? Be Late breaking announcement from Mindy's Best on This Is How We Bing Them. <laughs> We're bringing in some, that was the one I was thinking was a little far out. But yeah, we are bringing in some no. sweatshirts. No, yeah, we are bringing back sweatshirts and I feel like there's one other thing. Ooh, we have, um, this is definitely far out, but we have some really cool Christmas ornaments we're doing. Oh my gosh, Mindy, Christmas ornaments. Okay, so we have Dance, Dance Moms. Moms. Hey, see, you get in here right now. Get Saying hello. Thank you, Dance Moms. Susan, thank you so much. We appreciate it seriously so, so much. Uh, Hazy girl, come we just need you to come say one thing. Because we almost missed you last live. And you guys, she looks adorable today. Tell her what she needs to say, Mommy. Okay. She's going to say, do your best because your best is <laughs> Do your best. <laughs> Mindy, that is not what she's supposed to say. I love my mommy. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I can't remember the name, Ro. Tell her to say it. Hi, Eve. Hi, Eve. There it is. Hi, Eve. From Hazy. It happened in our I live. That's right. Was that Right? I feel like that was right. I and hope it was. If you remember it from like... reminded me. She's like, Mindy, you didn't say it. Honestly, if you remember that from like two weeks ago, that would be absolutely incredible. Um, guys, we got a lot of phenomenal, very kind, wonderful comments coming in here. Uh, Melanie saying, we love you so much. Know you're going to do amazing, Maddie. And just what I'm Thank seeing the most of is good luck. I'm just saying good luck, Maddie. We're with you. We're thinking of you. We're supporting you. Thank you. And that means the world to us, you guys, because we talk about it a lot. We are one big, gigantic, nearly million member family worldwide. And that's a lot of support for Maddie going into college. And yeah. so... We feel that support, we recognize it, and we appreciate it every single day. We seriously love you guys so much. There's no doubt this is going to be an incredible experience for Maddie. And we're just excited that you guys can be here for the journey, for the ride. And if you want to, follow at Maddie underscore Bingham on Instagram, because yep, she's yes. going to be taking that over, you guys. It's no longer run and managed by her epic dad. Her epic dad is <laughs> stepping so aside, epic. and Maddie's going to be taking that whole thing over. So that's going to be her Instagram just documenting her college experience, you guys. So go and check It'll that out. fun for her. Uh, I do think before parting, though, we have one more thing to say. We love you guys so much. On the count of three, one, two, three. Oh, Maddie might not know this. Do you know this? I know this. Okay. okay. I didn't know if she knew for sure. I didn't want her to, like, go, do your best. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three. Yeah. Thank you. We love you. We love you guys. Thank you for everything. Thank do your you. best because you're